Well, here's the source of uh, our Moringa powder. It is the Moringa oleifera plant or tree. It is, uh, this is a organic, we grow everything organic here in our garden. This is a tree that is native to the Indian uh, subcontinent and it has many health benefits. It's actually a super food and I will tell you some of the health benefits that you can get from this superfood. It's a beautiful plant. It's very nutritious by the way. It is packed with protein, vitamin B6, vitamin C, iron, riboflavin, vitamin A, magnesium. It is packed with nutrients. It's, it is a nutrient dense superfood. It is rich in antioxidants. It, uh, it can lower blood, uh, blood sugar levels. Um, it is good with uh, people that have diabetes. It will help to prevent diabetes. It can reduce inflammation. So many benefits. Uh, it can lower cholesterol protect against arsenic toxicity it is it's an amazing wonder superfood and these are just some of the benefits but I just wanted to show you here the uh, one of the uh, trees that we have that we use for our raw vegan organic superfood nutrient well today we're gonna learn how to make moringa powder See here, this is the first thing you have to do. You go out and get some fresh, organic Moringa branches. And then you have to clean them up. Wash them very thoroughly. Once the Moringa is picked and washed and dried, this is what we do next. We begin to take the petals off of the of the branches in preparation to get them ready to go into the dehydrator. So this is part of the process. All right, so once all the moringa has been stripped off of the branches, we lay it on one of the trays of, on the dehydrating uh, dehydrator's tray with the wax paper, and then we take it over to the uh, dehydrator. And we put it in the dehydrator. So once the last tray of Moringa is put into the dehydrator, we put the lid on and then we set the temperature to 95 so that it remains raw. You don't kill any of the enzymes and you leave it in there for approximately 24 hours. So we'll see what uh, happens to the Moringa afterwards. We'll see how it comes out nice and dry. So once the Moringa is, has been dehydrated, we remove it from the dehydrator. This is what it looks like once it's been dehydrated. The next step would be to now uh, grind it or blend it in high speed blender to make the powder. Another thing that you can use instead of if you don't have a food processor, you can use a high speed blender and it also does the same job. So here we see the high speed blender, we see how it's coming out. The consistency is very powdery. So this is exactly what you want. So you can get these into, if you want to put them into capsules or if you just want the powder, you can also sprinkle the powder on your food um, or in shakes and smoothies. 
Uh, and the next step we're going to do is we're going to put some of this in capsules. So we'll show you that next. So the last step in the process that we do here to make capsules is we have these all-in-one, uh, all-in capsules. They're vegan, vegan capsules, and they're size zero. And we have this capsule making uh, machine that we use, and we separate the capsules. We take the the larger side of the capsule and put in one bowl, and the smaller side of the capsule and put in another bowl. And then we put them in this machine, and then we press. We press down, once we have it all done and put it together, we press the, the smaller caps uh, over the, the bigger caps with the Moringa powder already in it. And what we get is, we get a, a good 100 capsules at a time. And then we remove Remove the lid, and there you go, you got a hundred capsules. Then we just take them, pick them up, and just dump them in a bowl, and get, get them ready to get bagged. That's a hundred capsules, right there. And that's how you do it. Well, thank you for joining us with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. These capsules are very healthy, very nutritious and they are very beneficial. So um, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.